Hey gems, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. <clears throat> I think my camera is foggy because I dropped my phone. Because <laughs> I like I can't figure out what it is, but I definitely did drop my phone, so I think maybe I messed something up. I'm sorry about that. I'll deal with it at some point. <laughs> but like I have to like like the insurance that I have, I have to order one and have it sent. And like I'm I'm moving in a few days anyway, so it's just kind of like, it is what it is. We'll deal with it while we have it. Um, gems, you have the sword and the warrior, the riddle, the stone, the cave, and the thread. I just feel like it's this idea of like, what is the, like, what is this, what's the trigger? Like what's triggering me in this situation? Because I feel like you just feel extremely triggered. <laughs> and don't even totally understand why. You're like, okay, I recognize the fact that I'm experiencing this emotion right now. Where is it coming from? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what that feels like. Um, because you can't just be reactive to everything like especially when things are unfolding right like if you are if you're trying to understand something that hasn't been making sense to you and it's been upsetting to you because it doesn't make sense and it's like okay but like it's never going to make sense if you're always just constantly upset by everything that's said and everything that's done right like I feel like just like give everyone an opportunity to speak their piece or maybe you're requesting an opportunity to speak your piece. I don't know, but I just feel like this, like nobody can get anything out because the second you say something, you're, you've got this reaction. And, and so instead of being able to like engage in a fluid conversation, it's just this, like you get stuck and then stuck and then stuck and then stuck. You know what I mean? But a lot of that has to do with, with just being reactive. Um, and I think that you're wanting to break free from this reactive energy that you've been in for a while, honestly. Um, Jim and I was in Mars for like ever this year, <laughs> you know, like that reactive energy has just been like steady present in, in your energy and, and, you know, possibly for even longer than that, you know, and it's just kind of. How do you grow past that? How do you move past that so that you can get to what it is that I think that you really want, what it is that I feel like to you, like you, you are anchored in something, you know, and it, and whatever it is that you're anchored in, I feel like you feel pushed away, pushed away, pushed away, or you're pushing someone away and pushing them away and pushing them away. And it's like, like you're anchored to them though. And, and so when you push, it just pulls <laughs> you know what I mean and it's like how do you get a, out of that push pull so that you can move forward um to engage in just a level of intimacy you know because I feel like that's the goal that hasn't been able to be attained <sighs> gems <laughs> merry christmas happy holidays Happy New Year. What else? What else? You know. <laughs> um, hope everybody's doing well. Whew. Okay. Gems. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. The Hanged Man, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Hearts. Well, again, I think that there's just an idea here of that triggered, like, what, why can I not move forward? And I feel like the answer to that is just this idea of, well, because you're, you're not allowing for anything to happen. You're reacting to every little thing. It's like stop and go and stop and go and stop and go and stop and go and stop and go. You know what I mean? So that like there's no, no means of like momentum. <laughs> um, I think of like a, 
I don't know, I haven't, I don't even want to say it out loud, but in the past when I was first learning how to knit, like I would drop a, a stitch or something and I, and I wouldn't know how to like fix it because there is a way to fix it without undoing everything that you've done, but I didn't know how to do it. So I would just undo everything that I had done. And I feel like that sense of frustration, you know, because you're like, oh my God, like I had this much progress and, and that's no small chunk of time. And you know what I mean? And, and now it's like, ah, <laughs> you know, like that's what that stop, go, stop, go, stop, go frustration is that I think that you're trying to limit, eliminate um, but I feel like you needed to just view it differently because instead of being ready to fight, right? Because I feel like that's been in your reads for a while now too. It's just like this person comes in peace. Like they're, they don't want to fight you. They just want to work through the, like the process of everything. They just want to be able to like, like, like engage in conversation about it. Not, not be on this like hyper vigilant, ready to attack, you know, because there's nothing that you can say in a complete sentence that isn't interrupted, like mid sentence with this, like, well, you da 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 da. And it's like, well, like, can I finish a sentence? You know what I mean? Like, that's that energy. Um, but you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. And I feel like there's an opportunity for you to really move forward um, in this relationship that allows for there to be forward momentum. And I, I just want to say like acting from a place of love, right? Because the idea with when you're like, when you're constantly in battle with somebody, like there's no, like there's no, nobody's holding space for anybody. You know what I mean? It's just like the second you step foot in here, I'm going to punch you in the face. You know what I mean? Like that's what that feels like. <laughs> just aggressive. And I do not promote violence, but emotionally, verbally, you know what I mean? Like, however it's happening for you, I just feel like you or the person that you're dealing with feels like they can't even breathe. You know, it's like, if I breathe wrong, you're going to come at me. You know, like, how am I ever going to, how, how, like, where am I supposed to start from there? And I feel like seeing that for what it is and, and dealing with that issue within yourself so that you can really move forward because like, it doesn't matter how, like how this relationship plays out, you know, what kind of relationship it is, even if it's with your family, you know, it's just kind of like, I think of, of my husband, um, but you know, being married and I, and I think that this is common in a lot of marriages. Um, it's almost like the second you sign that paper is like the second you've signed over ownership. It feels like ownership and then it feels like obligation and it shouldn't feel that way. You know, like usually if you get something, you're really excited about it and you want to take care of it, but for whatever reason in marriage that doesn't seem to play out <laughs> um and i think a lot of that is because people like the idea of marriage and they don't consider all of the ways that people will or will not work well together um you know and so it's important for us to be able to like take that time to understand things like why you should or should not just dive into something with someone um And maybe that's like, that's a lesson that you've been learning. The magician, the seven of swords and the fool. Well, I mean, the seven of swords is kind of the idea of like, he hasn't heard the call. Um, but I kind of feel like that's past energy, right? That's like this. I almost feel like you didn't even know what questions to ask that were the right questions. And you don't, you can't you can't know what you don't know. You like, you can't know to ask questions about things that you don't even know about yet. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, but how do you ever get to know if all you're ever doing is this stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Like I'm ready to fight you. Like I'm going to destroy you. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, 
but but once you realize that you know like a lot of that is just just like that simple thing to be removed right um so that you can really move forward again i mean you know i feel like there's this sense of freedom and understanding what our triggers are, where they come from, how they show themselves, why they show themselves, you know? And I kind of feel like that's just, um, I lost a deck of cards. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's just what you're, you're, you're dealing with right now, which is great. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> five of wands yeah just this like the constant battles like the the i'm ready to fight well that's part of the problem <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a problem <sighs> okay gems well I, it seems like once you get it figured out then you're able to really break free from it the self. Well, I, I like that because I feel like there's almost this like, and I don't know, because, you know, like for any of my people who, you know, like are, are coming from families that are very conservative and you have it like a lifestyle that's, you know, like if you're, you know, a part of the LGBT, LGBTQ extra letters on the end <laughs> community you know what I mean like or if you are doing something you know what I mean but I feel like there's just this like how can I even share my story with you if you're ready to attack me for who I am just for existing and like how do you become intimate with another person when they're like they're already don't feel safe around you you know, and intimacy can play out in so many ways, right? Because how do you heal anything if you can't be intimate with it? Because if you're not intimate with it, then you don't know what you're dealing with. And, and you can't become intimate with anything if you're constantly so triggered by the very thought of it, the idea of it, that you like, you pull full stop before you even get started. Do you know? But learning your triggers, learning why you do that, what causes these triggers to occur and how do you prevent them from occurring so that you can move past that to you know like honor what it is that you're really wanting to create <sighs> gems i love you all so much thank you for spending some time with me merry christmas and i will see you all again soon bye